This will be certainly very affordable. As rumored, Elon Musk confirmed the price of the Tesla Model 2, and then he shows his confidence about the design. An incredibly good good design. The Tesla engineering team is amazing. But what does that really mean for a $1.10, 575 electric car? How does Tesla design the new Tesla Model 2? And does it really bring us practical use value? Inside the Model 2, Tesla has quietly combined the precision driving feel of a Porsche 911 with the sleek flowing lines of a Jaguar F-Type, creating a compact car that surprises in both agility and comfort. The Falcon wing doors engineered for tight spaces appear effortlessly even on this low-cost model, while the latest Gigacast underbody ensures the ride stays smooth at highway speeds. And we're revealing how they do these impossible designs today and showing how Tesla turns a bold idea into real-world engineering that actually delivers. So if you are curious, hit subscribe and ring the bell. 1. How does Tesla bring together Porsche 9, 111 and Jaguar F-Type in a $10, 5, 175 compact vehicle? When you first examine Tesla's Model 2 in motion, there's an immediate sense that something is different. Not borrowed, not copied, different. The compact silhouette gives off the calm balance of a refined European coupe. Yet the steering response carries the sharp confidence of something bred for mountain switchbacks. It reminds you of premium performance machines, but the feeling is unmistakably Tesla. And the biggest question circulating through engineering communities right now is simple but profound. How did Tesla inject a high? end chassis personality into a car priced lower than a used motorcycle in California? The answer begins with an internal concept Tesla calls microarchitecture dynamics. Instead of duplicating the chassis code of luxury benchmarks, Tesla compressed the underlying behavior into a smaller EV footprint. That means scaling the rotational balance, body rigidity, and response curves from the likes of a Porsche 718 and blending them with the elegant proportion logic you'd expect from a Jaguar coupe. Engineers identified the most transferable elements. Bowler moment behavior, wheelbase leverage front, subframe rigidity, and applied them proportionally to a smaller, lighter, lower, cost body shell. The goal wasn't to clone performance figures. It was to achieve a 10-13% improvement in rotational predictability over other compacts. This keeps the Model 2's front end alive in your hands without the nervous twitchiness that plagues lightweight budget cars on busy freeways. You feel a planted sensation entering a tight-on ramp, even though the car is physically smaller than a Honda Fit. That stability isn't luck, it's engineered. Mass placement is where Tesla pulled off its most impressive sleight of hand. The Model 2 uses a slightly rear, biased battery module arrangement, with pack segments positioned a few inches behind the geometric center of the chassis. That creates a 47-53 front-rear distribution, striking the same neutral steering feel enthusiasts associate with mid-engine cars, while keeping everyday drivers comfortable and in control. Tesla balanced the front end using around 50 pounds of calculated structural weight, not cheap ballast, but purposeful mass built into the lattice of the subframe. Each component isn't just holding something together, it's shaping how the car rotates through a curve. Dimensionally, Tesla stepped away from the cramped proportions of typical affordable EV. They extended the wheelbase beyond segment norms, between 5 and 10 inches longer than comparable vehicles without pushing the body length into an awkward footprint. Longer wheelbase equals smoother stability at highway speeds. This matters for the millions of American drivers who spend hours on straight interstates from Nevada to Kansas. Yet shortened overhangs maintain tight city agility, something Los Angeles, Miami, and New York drivers depend on when squeezing into crowded parking stalls. Suspension philosophy marks the Model 2's biggest break from conventional budget EV thinking. Tesla fused two contrasting strategies, progressive anti-roll geometry from sport coupes and malt, I, 
Link Comfort Mapping inspired by premium touring cars. Spring rates were deliberately softened by roughly 12-18% from a pure performance setup to avoid punishing daily commuters. Meanwhile, anti bull stiffness was nudged upward about 8% to keep the body controlled when the car leans under load. The resulting ride is taut enough that the Model 2 doesn't toss or bounce at highway speeds, but it absorbs harsh impacts like evening potholes in Detroit or Atlanta without transferring the shock to the cabin. Steering philosophy aligns with how Americans drive in crowded cities and why. Dopen highways. Tesla selected a ratio roughly 9-11% quicker than typical compact EV. This means the front tires respond instantly when changing lanes on Texas toll roads or navigating narrow driveways in Chicago. But software control damping prevents overreaction at high speeds, ensuring the wheel doesn't feel jumpy or sensitive. You get precision without punishment. Aerodynamics, an often ignored category for low, price EV, received a surprising amount of Tesla's attention. Instead of chasing race, grade downforce, which murders efficiency, Tesla focused on shaping a zero. 22-0. 24 drag coefficient supported by a subtle rear lift, neutralizing contour. Over a standard 180 mile trip averaging 65 mph, that difference compared to a zero. 26 drag profile saves 7-11% energy, meaning meaningful extra range. For road, trippers traveling through long empty stretches of New Mexico or Oregon, those miles can save a detour or an emergency charging call. Inside, Tesla replicated the tactile hierarchy normally found in British luxury coupes. You'll notice thicker, more deliberate door pulls, softened dash edges, and material layering that feels far more premium than the price tag implies. By using advanced synthetic composites designed to mimic leather depth, firmness, and texture within a 3mm tolerance, Tesla recreated a high end feel without relying on expensive traditional materials. Drivers can't tell the difference because the sensory cues are nearly identical. Tesla didn't try to imitate premium brands visually. They targeted the emotional effect those cars generate. The confident way a well-tuned chassis glides across uneven pavement. The lightness in the steering when carving through sweeping roads. The stability when accelerating out of a bend. By designing the Model 2 from a pure electric foundation, they weren't restricted by combustion layouts or legacy engineering. Everything, the weight distribution, the torque response, the chassis geometry was shaped to evoke that same emotional spark people feel when driving a truly balanced car. Engineering brilliance, however, doesn't matter if the vehicle fails at everyday practicality, and Tesla's next technical hurdle was even more ambitious than chassis dynamics, fitting a functional, reliable, low-cost version of Falcon Wing Access into a car priced under $11,000. The Model X nearly collapsed under the complexity and cost of perfecting that mechanism. So how did Tesla bring an iconic door design into a budget platform without sacrificing durability or affordability? That's where the story becomes even more unbelievable. 2. How does Tesla put Falcon wing doors into a low-cost EV without breaking the bank? The moment you watch those doors rise, your first reaction is disbelief because nothing about that motion says budget car. And yet, it isn't for showmanship or viral marketing. It's Tesla once again attacking a boring, everyday inconvenience that every driver silently hates. Cramped parking spaces, tight condo garages, rainy supermarket exits, elderly parents struggling to climb in. Instead of saying that's just how small cars are, Tesla engineered a solution that feels premium but is built for real people and real life. So the question becomes unavoidable. How did Elon Musk greenlight a door mechanism this sophisticated for a car designed to stay under $12,000? And how did his engineering team deliver it without blowing the margins? The answer is the same philosophy that has driven every major Tesla break. Through purposeful engineering that removes everything unnecessary, then amplifies what matters. The advantage begins in geometry. Tesla's compact upward 
lift door design increases usable shoulder entry clearance by roughly 14 to 22 inches compared to a standard swing outdoor. It may sound small on paper, but in the real world, it's massive. For anyone carrying a toddler, holding groceries, or trying to slide in with limited mobility, it means less bending, less twisting, and less frustration. To achieve that, Tesla abandoned the Model X's hyper, complex dual, hinge logic and replaced it with a much simpler hybrid system, a single motor lift supported by a mechanical counterbalance and two over-center dampers. This architecture, borrowed from small aircraft baggage doors, slashes torque demand, cuts motor size and reduces total parts by nearly 45%. That alone brings costs down dramatically, but Tesla didn't stop there. Hi! Cost aluminum linkages have been swapped for stamped heist. Strength steel wrapped in composite overlays giving similar rigidity at a fraction of the cost. With shared actuator components across multiple Tesla models, the company reduces inventory complexity and maintenance costs for owners. The final door assembly likely lands in the low hundreds of dollars per unit, not the malt, I thousand dollar nightmare that nearly crippled Model X production. Weight management plays a quiet but critical role too. Each door is kept within a 25-38 LB bracket, thanks to hollow internal ribbing and aerodynamic exterior panels. That ensures the car keeps its center of gravity target and avoids the sloppy cornering or nose. Heavy feel common in cheap compact cars modified with heavy add-ons. Safety naturally follows the form. The taller entry arc allows passengers to step down rather than twist out reducing strain on hips and knees something older drivers immediately appreciate. And then comes the weather advantage. Revised seal channels and tapered drainage pathways reduce rain intrusion significantly during side gusts and highway spray. Imagine a humid Miami afternoon or a downpour in Seattle. The door opens upward, shielding you like a canopy rather than exposing the cabin. Picture the moment, you're wedged between two SUV in a busy California grocery store, the afternoon sun blasting the pavement or a light rain tapping the roof. You press one button, the door lifts up silently. No risk of scraping the neighbor's truck, no squeezing sideways to climb in, not fancy, just functional excellence made affordable through engineering discipline. But clever doors are only half the story. Because what Tesla did to the underlying structure, the cast body itself solves a problem no automaker had even publicly acknowledged. Early Giga cast prototypes revealed a strange stiffness and micro vibration under load that puzzled teams for years. Tesla's solution didn't just fix the shaking, it rewrote how compact EV frames distribute stress under real world conditions. Three, how did Tesla address one? 100% the problem of unusually stiff and shaking. When people first heard that the Model 2 would rely on Giga, casting for nearly its entire structural base, the excitement came with a shadow of concern. Cutting 20% of the vehicle's weight is impressive, but anyone who understands metal science knows the risks. A casting this large can amplify flaws the way a microphone amplifies whispering. Microscopic inconsistencies turn into macro scale stiffness imbalances, and at highway speeds, even a slightly uneven alloy can create phantom vibrations that appear only under specific load conditions. Tesla engineers knew this long before the forum started speculating. They encountered it themselves, intermittent shivers above 60-70 mph that vanished in low speed tests and refused to show up consistently. For three years, Teams tore apart prototypes, scanned structures, tested dozens of alloy formulas, and chased a vibration that felt almost supernatural until they solved it. The breakthrough began with alloy chemistry. Tesla abandoned the loose industry, standard tolerances, and imposed their own extreme controls. Every critical element of the aluminum alloy is maintained within zero. 4-0, 6% consistency, this is surgical precision in metallurgy. Why does it matter? Because alloy imbalance creates zones with mismatched elasticity. A region even 2% harder than expected behaves like a stiff plate within a flexible frame, 
and that stiffness transmits road shocks directly into the cabin. Another region slightly softer becomes a flex point that bends under load. When these sections interact at highway speeds, you get vibration profiles that don't appear in normal testing. By keeping alloy chemistry this tight, Tesla ensures that every cubic inch of the casting responds uniformly, eliminating the structural dead spots that normally plague budget EV. But chemistry alone wasn't enough. The second pillar was vacuum, assisted casting with controlled directional cooling. Tesla injects molten aluminum into the die under vacuum, preventing the formation of tiny air pockets inside the metal pockets that behave like microscopic springs. Traditional casting leaves 1-2% porosity and stress, heavy regions. Tesla's method cuts that down to 0, 15-0, 25%. Once the die is filled, they direct the cooling to push any remaining voids to loose, dress edges rather than critical load paths. This is how they eliminated the resonance spikes drivers usually feel when wheel vibration hits 15-20 HC on long highway runs. Remove the air pockets and the structure stops vibrating like a tuning fork. Heat treatment came next. Rapid cooling during casting locks invisible stresses into the metal. If left untreated, these internal tensions cause the structure to warp microscopically over time. Tesla's homogenization cycles normalize grain structure and relieve these stresses before assembly. The result, critical mounting points remain within zero, 0, 015-0, 0, 020 inches of their target dimensions tighter than the thickness of a business card. If these points drifted even by 0, 0, 005 inches, one side of the car would feel stiff while the other side felt loose. Tesla prevented that inconsistency from ever reaching the production line. Then came the smart reinforcement strategy. Instead of overbuilding the entire floor, Tesla inserted heist, strength steel ribs only in the zones where bending forces concentrate. Roughly 10-20% of the casting receives reinforcement. The rest remains lightweight aluminum. It's a weight to stiffness ratio that rivals premium sports cars, not entry, level compacts. The structure resists twisting during sharp cornering without adding the unnecessary mass that kills acceleration and range. But the most driver, visible advancement is the noise, vibration, and harshness tuning. Humans are unusually sensitive to vibration frequencies in the 20-30 HC range. It's the same range our chest cavity naturally resonates at. Tesla engineers mapped these frequencies under real highway loads and installed tuned mass dampers and elastomer isolators at specific structural nodes. The result, a roughly 65-75% reduction in vibration amplitude inside the cabin during long highway cruises. What older aluminum EV used to translate as a subtle but annoying body shiver is now almost completely eliminated. Quality control seals the deal. Each casting undergoes ultrasonic porosity scans, thermal imaging during solidification, and dimensional inspection across dozens of key points. Castings that deviate even slightly are redirected for recycling. Tesla's defect rate for stiffness, critical areas is under 1 per 12 zero. Zero, 0 units incomparable to older stamped, Steel architectures where weld inconsistencies cause long, term rattles in as many as one in five, hundred cars. So if you ever doubted that a dollar ten, zero, 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 class EV could deliver structural integrity and road comfort rivaling cars three times its price, now you know the truth. Engineering doesn't need to be expensive. It needs to be precise, and Tesla has made precision affordable. Tesla's breakthrough with the Model 2 sends a message the entire auto industry tried to ignore. True engineering mastery, real-world comfort, and next-generation innovation don't have to come with a luxury-sized price tag. What do you think this means for the future of affordable EV? And which hidden Tesla break? Through do you want revealed next? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's talk about it together in the daily community posts. The next deep dive video drops in just a few hours. Make sure you're ready you won't want to miss what comes next.